In this video, we're going to be going over how to get the best awesome and dynamic poses for your action figures. Getting the right pose with your action figures is incredibly important whether you're just doing some toy photography or just putting it up on your shelf. So a while back I made a whole video about posing and doing some real basic posing like walking or running or things like that but this video is going to be a lot more dynamic posing like jumping and these crazy superhero poses that you can only get if you really put a lot of time into your posing. So this video is going to be all just super dynamic posing. So when it comes to dynamic posing, what better character to use than Spider-Man? He is always going in crazy poses while he's swinging, doing superhero poses while he's landing, and a figure like this will really be perfect for such awesome posing as well. So this is the uh, Iron Spider from Spider-Man No Way Home, SH Figure Arts figure, which is a really freaking great figure. So I'm going to open this guy up and this will be perfect. So I did get this figure from the wonderful EntertainmentEarth.com. They actually sent this over to me. It's definitely my favorite store, most reliable store to get figures, pre-orders, all that stuff. And I do have an affiliate link down below in the description of the video. So make sure if you're getting any figures, any new figures, pre-orders, make sure to get that on my Entertainment Earth link below. You can find that on my website. You can find that linked in my Instagram bio. You can find that in this video, anywhere. They are the best. Thanks, Entertainment Earth. You guys are wonderful and amazing. So the figure comes with a lot of good stuff, including all these webs, which actually attach in the inside of the uh, wrist joint, which is really cool. And a ton of extra hands right here, which we need for holding onto webs, shooting webs, and even a little double-handed um, web thing here too so you can hold on to like the web with two hands which is really really cool um, and of course it comes with the iron spider little claw thingies in the back which are going to be great we'll probably use those as well for today and of course even some extra eyes so you can switch out some things which is so cool so what i'm going to do with this figure is i'm going to put them in about three or so different really cool dynamic really just extra poses uh, to just kind of show how we can do it and how to move the joints to get them in these cool poses but also make them look realistic and not make them look janky and the reason why I wanted to use this figure is because he's a super slim and slender figure when you get these figures that don't have a lot of bulky armor huge muscles or anything like that you're really able to get the most out of your posing as possible there's nothing hindering his joints or his movability because of armor or anything like that it's just a slender human shaped figure and especially with an sh figure arts figure like this you're going to be able to move those joints all over the place and get him into really great poses that you wouldn't <clears throat> anyway <laughs> you'll be able to get this figure into poses you would not be able to get with a bulkier figure. So that's why we're using Spider-Man. He is perfect. So there are two real major rules when it comes to posing figures that I like to talk about. The first one is to utilize the entire figure. There are so many joints on a figure and you have to make sure you use all of them because if you don't, you're not going to be really using it to its fullest potential. So for instance, one of the parts of the figure that I think is the most valuable is something like the waist. The waist is so powerful. Using the waist is incredibly important and you'll be able to get a lot better poses when you fully utilize the waist, you know? And rule number two is use a reference. Use a reference photo or a reference anything, a video, to see exactly what pose you want. If you're looking at a reference of Spider-Man hanging upside down and you want to mimic that, you will be able to accomplish a much more accurate pose. If you're using something as a reference so you know exactly what joints and what parts of the body go where, so then you can get something that looks even better. Use a reference. For sure. So the first pose that we're going to actually work on is the classic superhero pose. Down on one knee and one uh, fist on the ground, just like Iron Man. I'm actually going to use this Iron Man picture as a reference, even though this is Spider-Man. And that's just a classic pose you need for so many action figures. Plus, it's really hard to do. So according to this photo, we've got one knee down, we've got right knee down like this. And then the left leg we've got way up like this. 
And yeah, this figure is super poseable, so we're able to do that. We've got this foot kind of down like this. That's not obviously good. <laughs> we're not there yet. But one of the things about this is his waist and torso are totally twisted like this. You know? And I'm not going to use a fist, I'm just going to use his hand. You know, torso twisted. Don't want to twist it too much, break anything, of course. And we're going to push it down like this. And this pose actually benefits from a lower angle quite a lot. So uh, definitely take advantage of that when you're shooting the lower angle. I have a whole angles toy photography video if you're interested in that right here. So we've got him pretty much there so that that hand needs to be on the ground to the point where it's there. Now it's actually supporting him enough. And so let's move the head up. We're pretty much there, actually. We can do whatever we want with this hand. In the other picture, he's got it up like this. You have it straight out like that. Have it bent on like the leg, kind of. A little bit more relaxed. Um, and it's really cool, too, because it's just so easily just plop and he's there because the hand is holding it up, which is so nice. And that's, that's really it for the classic pose. Uh, it is a little bit different than in the picture, but that's good. You know, we don't want to just completely copy stuff. Uh, I could even make it even a little bit starker like this. Bend the waist a little bit more. So cool. And like I said, with such a skinny, thin figure, you're able to bend it out so much. Even with a Marvel Legends Spider-Man, you're going to be able to get stuff like this because the figure is just so thin, there's nothing hindering the articulation. As well as action figure boxes that these come in, they always come with great poses, like these three on the back here, and then this is a really kind of iconic one on the side here. I feel like he does in one of the movies, right? So, um, yeah, definitely lots of posing inspiration from the box right here. And actually, this pose here specifically is really cool. It's similar to the last one, which makes me want to give it a try, but it looks like we can, we don't necessarily have to worry about him balancing. We can use his spider arms to kind of hold him up a little bit too, which makes me really excited. So let's give this one a try. Okay, so first thing is let's do his legs. He's kind of got, um, he doesn't have any knees on the ground this time. So this front leg is a little bit going forward and the back one is kind of bent down like this and then on his toe like that. And this, uh, once again, we're gonna have to turn his body quite a bit because this arm is on the ground. There we go, kind of like that. And his head is facing this way. Arm going down like this. Very important. His hand isn't actually touching the ground. And so remember, his knee is not actually touching the ground. So this is where the balancing is gonna be a little tough. So let's start putting his claws on the ground because they are 100%, you know, articulated. Okay, so we're almost there, almost got it. So we just about got it. So his legs are on the ground, no knees here. And I actually didn't need to take these uh, claws back here and have them touch the ground. These two back here were enough to Get him to stay, and there he is. That looks great. That looks really good. Awesome. So next, I actually want to try this pose right here, because he's kind of like jumping and shooting webs from both sides, which I think is really cool. And so we're not going to be able to stand him up like this, because he's jumping, so we'll just use a basic stand that comes with a lot of figures. Uh, you can also just use the wooden skewers I use in toy photography all the time. I have that stuff linked in the description as well if you want one of those also. So I've got a little stand right here, which is just a basic uh, stand from another SH Figure Arts figure. You can get these on Entertainment Earth also. Um, I'm sure you probably already have something similar to that, right? So to get this pose, I think that'll be pretty easy. He's looking over to the right. He's got his left leg. Sorry, he's looking over to the left and his left leg is all pointed up like that. So let's start with that. I've got his webs and everything already too. So we're going to bend his left leg like all the way up as far as possible. And he is hunched down a little bit. And so this arm is going straight out. Okay, and then this leg is up too, but it's bent in a little bit more, like that. And he is twisted a little bit. 
and he's looking this direction. He's actually, he's really hunched up to get it like that. You really gotta squinch him up. And one of the cool things about doing this is that you can kind of do the pose however you want. You can take inspiration from the pose and then change it up. So if you can't get it exactly, that's great. You can just do your own. Not quite. He's a little more upright like this. It really seems like the leg is hunched in closer to him. This foot's going down. And so is that one. Pretty close. That actually might be pretty spot on. Make sure we get those hands facing that way. And there we go. I think that's pretty much spot on. And let's put him in here. So I think this is this is a great pose, I think, for like on the shelf. I just, I really like that. I feel like this would be a really great pose to leave him on the shelf. Always use inspiration from the box. So great. So that's another really awesome pose for sure. So I gave like my top two rules about posing and stuff like that. And uh, I think I have another rule that I want to add in that should be even, maybe even more important. And that is to just mess around with the figure more. Just sit there, mess around with them a lot. If you're like at your desk at work, bring your figure and just kind of move them around while you're, I don't know, just mess around with them while you're watching TV and just get poses like that. It's just, it's a lot of fun, plus you'll really be able to just learn a lot about the figure and what you can do with it, just messing around with it. That's like a, another huge rule. So that's rule number three. So there's actually three rules here. So the next pose that I really wanna do is something that is kind of like this, where he's swinging and he's just like fully lunged out, about ready to kick forward, you know, all the way totally stretched out. I think that would be really, really cool. And so with that, I'm gonna use this double hand that he's got. This double hand is really cool. And I'll use this um, web as well for that. So that's gonna be, I think, pretty easy to do. So really to get this pose, we're just gonna have to really stretch him out like and totally lean him forward um, maybe cross his legs a little bit and his head, hands are going to need to go above his head so actually this might be really easy to do uh, maybe twist a little bit <laughs> I think that's actually pretty good just like that and he's like fully about to like he's fully swinging so that was actually a super easy pose. It actually took like a minute to do, which is really cool. And so we could also do the complete opposite where he's, he's actually kicking forward now. So he's gonna go forward. So let's put his legs up like this. There we go. So legs are a little bit, you know, they're not together completely. We've got one leg, put this back in his hand, put him up on the stand and boom. There he is. So as long as you're utilizing the entire figure, using a reference, and spending some time to just mess around with the figure and posing, you'll be able to achieve some really awesome and dynamic poses pretty easily. And if you did like the video, please make sure to drop a quick like or make sure to subscribe as well. And if you do want this fantastic figure, just head over to the affiliate link I have for Entertainment Earth down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.